Oh my god, no freaking way. I just found the KKK. I just found the KKK. Uh, Got some dynamite for you bitches. That was... I just got a fucking 12 kill streak with one dynamite. Oh my lord. Letter to Pa. Notes. All sorts of chewing tobacco. Good god. These horses are going insane. Good man, huh? Well, if only you knew. Appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and now well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, right? Hmm. Protection money, huh? Is that so? Man, they don't got nothing. Not even gonna bother. Stranger mission, huh? 
Hello? Anybody here? Oh, hello. Hello. Hey. Why the day? Sure. What? Our country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Well, that's what I want to be my thing. I have to take another picture. A grumpy house frau, a pompous middle class burger. I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just. There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators. Kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Oh, like yes. me? Not the <laughs> but, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh my oh, god. Good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Oh, good heavens. Don't worry. Ah. The thing is a cow. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Uh, get my repeater out. You gotta be kidding me. I must say this is a rather precarious situation. Hey Kyle, don't think about coming back. It's a rather precarious development. Got your bag. Thank you, sir. A bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. You take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. Forgive me. Thank you very much once again. Huh. Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the fellers who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man had thought like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. At least, I know myself. Or it can get you killed. But hey, good luck. Please, fun to attract any wildlife. I'll show you some damn privacy. My parts. Oh, Leopold. You can't be serious. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you? About. About how I look. Are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... I... Debtors, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well... There's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate. You know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... Bigger. Bigger, huh? All right. Take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Hmm. Oh, my God. Trelawney's here. He wasn't here last time. 
Everybody's sleeping. I don't sleep because I sleep during the day. Oh, that son of a bitch. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this place. I'm sorry, Miss Grimshaw, but can you shut up? Like for once. Look. Look. That. What? No. fucking bastard. Micah's all up in Dutch's ear. Somebody just shouted peckerwood in the background. What? Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay Can y'all shut up over office. there? My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days, I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Why? Yours faithfully. Is he, is he too big? Braithwaite. Penelope Braithwaite. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Gamerman. Welcome back to another episode. I should really say another depressing episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Watching your once close acquaintances fight with each other and go insane right before your eyes is kind of depressing. But, uh, we still have business to attend to, so. We're supposed to be finding J. John Weathers, which this cart, this wagon's pretty obvious. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. There was another way than running. I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, here. It's too late. Form up. Shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Shit! Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Uh no. Damn the dead. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you Damn. The fucking army? Wow. Letter from Martin to father. So today's episode's special guest is uh, Veggie Straws. Man, these guys are broke. 73 cents? Yes, sir. Get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Well, that's real kind. I lost my money playing poker. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh, <clears throat> Rio? Hush, hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Oh, keep that in mind. <coughs> Any problems coming in? Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? He seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago. Maybe. Slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Come on, expired potato. Yeah. This is like the fifth name I've given you. What's in your crawl, huh? Nothing. Ha! So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever <laughs> you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. A bit of a tour. 
<laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? <laughs> Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullet. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha ha ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah. Well, oh, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope and hope for the best. <clears throat> it's funny because my horse was once named Icarus. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Oh my god. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience. Trelawney! <laughs> I'm doing it. Really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. We're about to head up. Then let's break through these clouds. Remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't we'll find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. This is awesome. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, didn't she? Cinematic camera was made for stuff like this. Trying to concentrate here. 
Wow, look at the train. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the uh, blue shoes discussion. Well, just say the word. Wow, the view up here is insane. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in the mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Pollard. <laughs> See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? I have a friend Please, this is most irregular. in here. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Oh boy. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. All right, let's try one of the other fields. Please hurry. Nope, not there. Uh... Looks like it. Oh, it's hard to tell, though. Yeah, that's him. Oh, shit. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ow. Heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Oh my God. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <laughs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Oh my god. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, say it! Up here! You're getting down! Shit, they're all Driscoll's. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Oh, my God!
think I might need to adjust my... No! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. Really? Uh. These goddamn old Driscoll. You can't leave it for one day? Just kill these sons of bitches! can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure. Dutch, he wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes. Fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. Yes. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. 
I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <laughs> Gold. Yippee. Come on now, boy. The guy fishing over there. Clearly, he doesn't see all the dead bodies. 